Hi Team Titleist fans right across Southeast Asia. Very excited to introduce to you today the brand new Scotty Cameron Futura X putter for 2013. It's got a high MOI design. Many of you may have seen this putter or heard about this putter as used by Adam Scott to win the 2013 Masters. That was the prototype version that Adam and Scotty had been working on for some time. Last year, Adam approached Scotty and the team at the Cameron Studio about his desire to use a high MOI putter. And they collectively worked together to come up with what is now the final version of the Futura X. And we're really excited to bring it to market for all you fans. Joining me to talk about the features and benefits of the new Futura X is Sean Moles. Sean, we spoke about this putter being a super high MOI. What are the benefits of using a high MOI putter such as the Futura X? Well, high MOI putter, Rick, gives us a slightly larger sweet spot. So this is going to help golfers who struggle with their distance control um, by allowing uh, more consistent ball speeds across the face. And also, when we have a slightly larger sweet spot, um, the putter won't twist as much if the golfer doesn't hit the ball out of the center of the putter each time. Okay, from a design perspective and technology, we've got this back bit here. Um, can you just talk a, a little bit uh, about the C-bar? Sure, the, um, what we call this reverse C-bar here, those who can remember the original Futura putter, this C was facing towards the face. This time it's around the other way, hence reverse C, and we've got two large weight ports on the end of the C, which helps to shift the MOI, or, sorry, helps to shift the center of gravity lower into the head, increasing the MOI. Okay, so we've got all this technology on this putter, but ultimately, what kind of player can benefit from using a, a high MOI putter? Sure, because, because of the center of gravity so far away from the face, it's really gonna benefit someone with a slower, smoother stroke, and also the golfer who may struggle a little bit with their distance control, or those who are um, a little bit off with their direction as well. Okay. Now, we spoke about the uh, size of the putter earlier. Um, we can't make a putter out of steel uh, this big, uh, so we're using uh, aluminium this time around? That's right. This is made from a 6061 T6, which is a high-grade aluminium. And as you say, if we were to make this out of stainless steel, the putter would be very heavy. Okay. Finally, on the face as well, we've got a, uh, we've got a milled face here. Uh, pretty much the same milled face as we use in other putters? Uh, similar. The only thing is this is what we call a mid-mill. Okay, um, where we'd see the deep mill on the select line. Um, because the aluminium is a little bit softer, we've gone for just a mid mill face here. Okay, great sound through uh, putter as well. Yep. Okay, excellent. As we move up the shaft uh, here, Sean, we see the stepless uh, model we've seen in Cameron putters. Right now, shaft band nicely hidden underneath. And then a uh, putter grip here that looks pretty familiar. Yeah, as you say, Rick, the stepless design. So Scotty's big on when we look at down at the golf ball, we don't want anything uh, in interrupting our view of the ball. Okay, so we've got the stepless design. And also, as you say, we've seen this before, this is the Pistolero grip. Scotty was walking through a hardware store and picked up an axe and really liked the way the handle felt in his hand, so we've, he's emulated that into the Pistolero grip. Okay. Back down in the head here, we've got a series of different weights, two, uh, two weights on the back here, two weights yep. underneath. Uh, are they all customizable? How does that work? The two weights on top, uh, the two 20 gram weights, they remain constant regardless of the length, but underneath the the two weights on the sole, they are um, interchangeable, so depending on the length. So for a 33 inch put putter, right. we'd use something a little bit heavier and 35 a little bit lighter. Okay, so we can custom all the way from 33 uh, uh, right through to I believe 35 and a half. That's correct, yes. Okay, and finally the finish, what's the finish called? The finish is a new frozen titanium, which helps reduce glare. Sean, there's a lot of questions about face balance putters, especially being uh, with super high MOI. Is the Futura X perfectly face balanced? Uh, not exactly, Rick. The reverse C bar here, which allows us to give, uh, gives us the low and deep center of gravity, creating the high MOI, creates what we call a force balance, but there is a small amount of toe flow still within the putter. That's everything we have for you for the brand new Futura X. The Futura X will be shipping to golf shops right around Southeast Asia uh, this week, so you can pick one up. They're available in 33, 34, 35 inch stock lengths and also at a custom length uh, through any golf shop. If you'd like to know more about the Futura X, you can take a look at our website, Titleist.Asia. And also for those Team Titleist fans, uh, please come and join us. We have a uh, forum thread going that Sean will be leading on the new Futura X and you can ask any questions that you like and we can engage in lots of discussions. Also, Facebook, please join us. I'll become a fan, uh, Titleist uh, Southeast Asia. We look forward to uh, communicating with you real soon. Thank you.